Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you're watching Grovis Does Britannia, which is a YouTube channel mainly uh, designed to bring people back to the classic MMO of Ultima Online. But this is also where I um, bring you along with my investment journey too, uh, so I can uh, look back and kind of document and see um, how I progressed um, on the stock market. So. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not a fan financial advice at all. This is just what I'm doing uh, to for myself to kind of document what I uh, do with index funds and stocks and different things like that. So this is my M1 Finance portfolio. Now there's a link to this in the description below if you if you want to check out this platform. Um, there's also links uh, below for Robinhood and Webull if you want to get some free stocks. Um, you can sign up there. Um, but let's dive right in. This is May of 2024 performance. Uh, starting value of this account $51,975.40. Ending value $55,295.52. Every month I put in uh, $600 uh, into this account and it auto invests based on how i have my pie set up the goal is to reach 80 percent of this portfolio in index funds and etfs uh 20 percent in individual stocks right now it's at 19 percent because there's some speculative assets i have set at one percent i've been trying to get rid of uh, but i'm waiting to exit those positions strategically um, so let's dive into the activity feed and see what all dividends we got paid out last month. Uh, first off the bat, we got three dollars and seven cents from CVS, uh, five eighty-five from AT&T. Uh, this is where I did my deposit. Oh, I stand corrected. Uh, this account I put five fifty a month in. I'm sorry, I said six hundred, but it's five fifty. Uh, so I bought, it automatically bought uh, 74, 24 in VOO, 11635 in VYM, 113.78 in QQQ, uh, 3406 in VXUS, 4596 in SPHD, uh, 113.25 in VTI, and 6594 in VNQ. Uh, all of these are pretty solid um, and they're, they're set up in my index fund pie. So it's going to invest in those until I reach the 80% and then it'll start splitting different things out. Um, and then after that, on the 9th, MasterCard paid us $1.10. Uh, Hormel, $2.76. $0.08 from GE Healthcare. Which, uh, since uh, this little ticker split off from the main uh, GE, I've been, uh, it's been doing really well. So it, GE had a stock split where they, they split off their healthcare portion of their company and you got, uh, some of those shares depending on how much of the GE stock you owned. So I ended up selling my GE stock, but I kept that one. It's been doing pretty good. It pays a little dividend, but it tends to do well. Uh, realty income. This is a monthly pay in dividend one, $2.13. Uh, Procter Gamble at $3.31. Uh, $1.32 from Apple. $2.57 from Norfolk Southern. Uh, security lending interest at a penny. We'll count that. Uh, SPHD with a nice dividend, $12.24. Uh, $8.40 from PEY and that reached over my $25 threshold so it triggered a buy event which bought $5.58 more of SPHD and $28.35 of the real estate ETF BNQ. Uh, and then lastly Starbucks gave $3.21 and I messed up my calculations here. Go through this real quick. Sorry. So forty-six dollars and five cents for the month of May. 
the month of May is usually a slow month too. Uh, June, there'll be a lot more dividends uh, coming in in June, but not bad. And I mean, we're up uh, so far. This portfolio showed money weighted rate of return uh, at 80%. So with an $11,226.05 uh, market gain and 1900 of that is from dividends and up in all three of my categories. As far as my holdings go, looks like I own the most of QQQ um, and that's up 800 bucks. Uh, SPHD is up 330. These are some of the highlights. This one right here, NVIDIA is crazy. I, I bought in 520 bucks is what I threw into that one. And uh, it's up $3,000. <laughs> crazy. But I got it in a good time, I guess. That stuff's so high now. I, don't, I can't buy anymore until it comes down. But I did really well on that one, I think. Um, Rhythm Capital is doing good. It's up 740 bucks. Logitech. A lot of these are really good. PBW is the clean energy ETF that I, I put uh, a trickle in some funds to. It's down, but maybe, you know, eventually that thing will be nice to have. That's what I'm banking on. So I just want to have a little bit of exposure to that. Uh, AMD is doing well. Apple, of course, it always does well. 3M is about flat. I'm down some of these here. Disney is struggling, but Disney's going to be around forever. They're not going anywhere, so I'm not really worried about that. AT&T, this one stays pretty flat as well. They pay a decent dividend. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that one in my portfolio forever, uh, but I did uh, enter it with you know dividends in mind. So uh, Pinterest is doing fairly well. Neo, I don't want to. I want to get rid of that one. That was kind of a hype stock I bought, but yeah, overall pretty good portfolio, I think. I don't want 47 positions. I want to. I want to get that down to probably in the 30s. But when I first started investing, I got really excited and just put money in everything. So now I got to tweak it from there. But. Um, that's going to be it for today's video. Pretty short. Just wanted to show you what happened in May. And June should have some more exciting numbers. So we we'll look forward to doing that. And uh, if you are interested in checking out Ultima Online, uh, check out some of my other videos there. Uh, free to play stuff there. But uh, other than that, yeah. Take care of yourself and each other. And until next time, be well.